At the center of everything is only you that we see. In the center of chaos, we see you as the solution. At the center of our desires, we see you as the provider. At the center of every turmoil, Lord, you are the center of peace. At the center of famine, you are the center of bread. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And can you give me that song? You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you. It belongs only to God, our hallelujah. My hallelujah All my praise to you. It doesn't belong to anyone else. My hallelujah belongs to you. Come on, church, you can confess it right now that your hallelujah my will be. Hallelujah oh, yes, Lord. My Lift up your hands and you say, oh, Lord, Your hallelujah. 
You deserve the honor. You deserve the praise. You deserve the worship. And we as your people, we have come to worship you today and to listen from your throne. Give us eyes that see, ears that can hear, a heart of discerning and a mind of wisdom so that we may live long and live a peaceful and a happy life. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Amen and amen. amen. You can take your seats. Thank you, worship team. I'm the instrumentalist. Um, so briefly, we have I've just come to bless your hearts. And to encourage you. Because uh, we are entering into um, a divine week. Yeah, I call it divine because God is on the throne. And, and, uh, and he's in control. Say amen. 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 So people will say so much. And even the media will speak a lot. But God has the final word. We don't walk by sight. But we walk by faith. And our faith is not virtual. It's not uh, 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 virtual. Yes, and does not depend on what we see. Our faith is rooted in the 
indestructible seed of God's word. Our faith is rooted and anchored in the solid rock of the word. Our faith is based on the unchanging nature of he who spoke the word and that is God. Power is in his hands. Authority is the footstool of his feet. He speaks and things are created. He raises and clouds disappear. He makes fire his servant and wind his messenger. Everything in creation obeys him and will be an instrument at his will. And because of his supremacy and his imperial word, we have faith and we have peace. Because he spoke. That is where our faith is. The righteous will live by faith. Our faith is not in the government. It's not in the candidates. It's not in anything. War is a nation whose God are just idols. War is a generation of people whose confidence is in flesh. This is why in the beginning, I the Holy Spirit told me to speak to you. People who were here on fast when we were giving the prophecy. And we told you that there are going to be riots across the world. Deadly riots. Deadly riots. But to the people of peace, there will be great future. People whose God is the God of Abraham. People whose trust is in Jehovah. The God of all the earth whose peace comes from the word, there is great future. Because nations will go into turmoil. Because men's heart will be greatly troubled. And, that, and the reason is they have put their trust in what is not supposed to be trusted. I don't trust anything. I don't trust the government. I don't trust America. I don't trust Britain. We don't trust any arm of flesh. Our trust is in the Lord. If the Lord doesn't rule a nation, rulers rule in vain. 
If the Lord doesn't bring peace, can't it speak in vain? If the Lord is not at the, at the top of financial increase or wealth creation in this land, men's Men speak empty words. Amen. Amen. So therefore, no Rachel. In the beginning, Muntandikwa. On first, Ngalumu, Kuntandikwa Yomaka. Gave us a prophecy. And I'm going to repeat some of the few things for your strengthening. Because right now we are entering into a season of election. We are entering into a week of election. And a lot is being said. People speak from left to right. They speak all kinds of words. And in, uh, I, I told you in the beginning that uh, the Lord showed me people were as if, like, I mean, were like women in labor. Kind men give birth. Why are they holding their tummies? It's because of the fear of the unknown. All across the world. But God is in control. Amen. Amen. Let people outside be afraid. But not you. Amen. Amina. The purpose of prophecy is to get us ready. I, I've been explaining these things that number one, the reason why God speaks the last things in the in the beginning so that you may know he is God. Secondly, for your strengthening. That in case you see unlikely events which don't correspond with the prophecy, you must not lose heart. So therefore, the prophetic word is there to equip you, to get you ready. To strengthen you in, in uh, unlikely events. In situations that bring sorrow to the hearts of men. So that you who do not walk in darkness but walk in light you will know what the Lord promised despite of the circumstances surrounding you. Mm -hmm. People in darkness will be afraid. People who don't know whose hope is not in the Lord. They'll only take so much of what they see and hear. And that's why their hearts will grow cold. And will, get, will go in despair. But you shall become stronger and stronger. Because this is a year of new things. This is not a year for us to die. This is a, a year for us to see new 
things. And before they spring up, the Lord declares it. So blessed are those whose God is the God of the Bible. And number three, I told you that a prophecy is to get you ready. Many of us just listen to the prophecy and then we do nothing. That's not the that's not the reason of prophecy. God wants to get you ready. So that you may have a picture of the things that he's about to do, even though they are not there yet. And by doing so, you may fight a good fight of believing in the midst of the unbelievable. To get you ready. I think this is what Pastor Kayanja was speaking here. That you get ready. You start looking things, you start looking at things around you. And you allow the Spirit of the Lord to speak to you to uh, what new things are going to be performed in your life. Let me get you a scripture. Maybe the, 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 this will awaken your understanding. Amos chapter 2 verse 3. Amos From verse 6 to 8. Now, verse 8. Now, th th this, is, this is a scripture. Amos chapter 3. Amos 6 to 8. From verse 6 to, to 8. Amen. Amen. Amos. Chapter 3. Verse yeah. So some of you, you can just follow on the screen. And some of you can read your Bibles in Lugan, I mean your uh, Bible. Now this is a classic example when God, I mean, uh, uh, a classic example of how someone should embrace a prophecy or what people ought to do with a prophecy. When a trumpet sounds in the city, now prophecy is here, is equated to a trumpet. That when a trumpet is sound, people get ready for something. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. When a trumpet sounds in a city, do not do do don't the people tremble? Because the trumpet is sound for people to get ready for action. The reason why it is sound, it is like to warn people, get ready for action. An enemy is coming. So what will people do? They will immediately, I mean, the, act, the, the, the result of trembling is to find a way to get ready to attack the enemy. To defend themselves. Hallelujah. 
Has not the Lord caused it? Surely the sovereign, the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophet. In other words, before I do something, I make it known to my servants so that my people get ready. Say amen. Say amen. I said say amen. So that my people can get ready. In other words, is giving you an example of a trumpet. That you, my people, when I speak a word, I want you to get ready as people get themselves ready when a trumpet is sound. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? And the Lord goes further to explain. And he says, When the lion has roared, who will but not to fear? It's the same way when the sovereign Lord has spoken, who will not but to move? In the prophecy. Now look at what God, I mean, how God is giving an example here. When a sound, when a trumpet is sound, people are called on to be ready for action. And then God says, surely the sovereign Lord will not do anything until he reveals it to his people. And the reason he reveals it so that his people may get ready for eventualities. They may prepare themselves to do the will of God. They may get themselves ready to pursue the will of the Lord. They may get themselves ready and prepare their hearts that no matter what happens, I'm going to where the will of God is. I will do what God has said. No matter what happens, it doesn't matter if calamities happen, whether a thousand for this side or ten thousand for this side. I have made up my mind. And I'm not among them. I get myself ready to trust in what God has said. Hallelujah. Amen. And then I get myself ready to plan to plan how I will resist the enemy. I plan in, in our divorce not to lose heart. And even in the midst of situations, I will remind myself of what the Lord has said. That way, that way, you are walking in a prophecy. And then the Lord has said, when the lion roars, what do people do? They, you, you, you know, the action of fear I mean, the, the, res the result of fear is planning. 
when a, when, a, when a lion roars, everyone will say, okay, in case it comes from here, what do we, what do we do? How do I go about it? Buli muntu atandi kwa kwetege kanagamba kati webe vudelu yirevi, nyinza kudukida, wa yene kweka, wa yene kolantia. What do I need to do now? Netaga kola chi. Should I get my spear? Mfune efumuli yange. That's where, I mean, people in, uh, in those days, uh, they used to run into the house and they get their spears ready. And others, they get their bows and arrows. They are on the lookout. So God here said, when, when a lion roars, people are afraid. I mean, people fear. And that fear results into action. The same way when God speaks, what will men do? They will walk in that prophecy. They will prophesy. They will speak it. They will walk it. They will see it. That's up to you. Chidi Jolly. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God a mighty hand clap. Kubida Katon Dengaleza man. So this year, no Rachel Mwakagu, the Lord told us, Mukama Yatugamba, gave us a theme of the year. Yatuwa Mutuegwo Mwaka. And it is in the book of Isaiah chapter 42 in verse 8 to 9. Which is a year of new things. Isaiah 42 verse 8 to 9. Isaiah 42 verse 8 to 9. I am the Lord and that is my name. I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. Zamukama, Eriolianyar Yange, Nechiti Wachange, Siri Chiwa Mulala, Newankuba de Tendol Yange, Eriabi Fana Nebioli. It doesn't matter what has happened or what has taken place. Since Songa Bichevi, but they were baby to say war. I am the Lord. Zemukama. I will do what I have purpose to do. Nienda Kola Chena Sala Wokola. See. In other words, take a closer look. The former things have taken place and new things I declare before they spring into being, I announce them to you. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So God declared to us that he is Beginning something new. So now he wants you to get ready. Look around yourself. What have you been doing all this all along? What do you want to do differently this year? And what does the Spirit of the Lord reveal to you? Then get ready to do that. Amen. Amina. Clap for Jesus. Now we are entering into election. And I told you that the Lord, I, I prayed to the Lord and I asked, I said, Lord, what do you say about elections? God gave me prophetic words for other nations. I gave it to you. Amen. Amen. Across the world. That there shall be riots. In this decade, we are going to see a sharp rise in weather formations. Especially, especially there shall be great floods. Unequal to the rest of these past decades. 
And I told you that the Lord told me to warn you, yes, right now all things may be okay, but there is coming a time when Uganda will experience great floods. I don't know when, but that time is coming. Nemba labula nemba gamanti no katonda yabate kateka nemba gamanti no chinzo kubanga buli chimu chiri bulungi kati ne waliwe bise rasimani bigenda kubera wodi na yenga Uganda genda kuba na mataba manji. Amen. Amen. And even I told you that the Lord spoke to me. Ida nemba gamanti mukama yenga. Actually, the Lord did not speak to me, but I just heard a voice. Mukama tia yogera nange na yena wuli de dobo. I did not understand it. Ne siri tegera. Which was like why. Are the lands of Amerigo in pain? Ngabuza ntino rachi etakaria. Amerigo, Amerigo. Amerigo lidi mubulumi. The distant great land of Columbus in pain. Etaka area waledia Columbus lidi mubulumi. Why are people weeping? Rachi abantu ba yobakaba. Now this for your information that is a picture of america and i was like god how does this happen that's why i told you that there are going to be riots in the land of america there will be riots even here throughout this decade and throughout but you know what? Last week, when I was watching news, and I saw a great riot which has not happened. Whites killing themselves. Now, why am I saying that? Because I want you to have faith in what the Lord has told us. Because of that, I also told you what the Lord told me about the elections here. Because everybody has his own information. People are predicting doom. Now let me tell you something. From what I hear from the Spirit, and from what the Scripture says, which I gave you, in Isaiah 55 verse 12, and verse 13, no, Bef and verse, verse 12 and verse 13. Let me tell you something. I don't know what will happen. But let me speak what I feel or ne I hear from the Spirit. You will go out in joy and you will be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands for you. Now I don't know whether this concerns the entire Uganda or the Holy Spirit is speaking to only you. All to the children of God. That they shall be greatly protected. In other words, you don't have, you, you, you do not need to be afraid of anything. But let me speak what I fear, I, I hear all in my heart. Listen to me, O Uganda. And people who are watching us are online. This is what I feel the Spirit of the Lord is speaking. There shall be peace in this land. For the Spirit of God will take control. 
Because children of God have prayed. And satanic forces will not be allowed to raise up in the hearts of people to bring those destructive thoughts. You know, chaos comes from the, the, the enemy. From the heart of the devil. God is for peace. Satan is the author of confusion. And death. But we have already prayed for the kingdom of God to come. To arrest those evil spirits that want to find a way into hearts of men and to bring those wicked ideas. This is what I believe. From the corner to the corner, God will protect his people. That's what I believe. And I don't mind. Or it doesn't matter. Whether people riot. Or what. But you are protected. So therefore I have spoken this so that as you go out to vote please go out in peace. Do what you're supposed to do. Be a man of peace. Remember the word that the Lord gave me to give you on first. That in the midst of chaos, riots, there will be a great future for a man of peace. What do I mean? If you are if you are led by peace, that is a great future. But if you are led by chaos, death awaits you. So you go out and vote. Come back home. Listen and dare to what the leaders have said. Romans 13 from verse 1 to 3 says that everyone must submit himself to the governing authority for there is no authority except which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, he who rebels against the authority, now the authority here means the government, he who rebels against the government rebels against what God has instituted and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. Now what does it mean? Here the scripture is saying that however bad the government however bad the government is is God knows. And your duty keep yourself. Protect yourself before the government protects you. You protect yourself. God says that every government is instituted by God. And whoever rebels it, rebels against it, 
brings judgment on himself. In other words, when you are killed, what or put in jail, or anything happens on you, don't blame anyone. You blame yourself. The authority you have is to protect yourself. I told you that great future awaits the peaceful. Living long is wisdom. Gray hair is a symbol of wisdom. That is why they sent MV Kabonero Kamagezi. Because he has he has wisdom, because wisdom will preserve your life. Aina Magezi, Kubanga Magezi, Gagenda Kumobula Mubuo. It is wisdom that preserves your, your life. A Magezi Gaga Kumobula Mubuo. But foolishness destroys a man. Amen. Amina. Verse 3 says, For rulers, rulers, now there's a difference between a ruler and a leader. Ntikubanga abafuga, waliwe nja ule wakati womu fuzi no Rulers are more of dictators. Abafuzi balaga banache marida. So here the Bible says, for rulers hold no terror for those who do right. Ntikubanga abafuga siba kuti samuvi kora ebirunji. But for those who do wrong. Wabula mochibi. Do you want to be free from the fear of the one in the authority? Then do what is right and you and he will commend you. Verse 4. For he is God's servant to do you good. But if you do wrong, be afraid. For he does not bear the sword for nothing. He is God's servant, an agent of wrath. Other Bible says an agent of death to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. Kubanga yamweleza wa katonda erigwe, orobu lunji, na yebu okolo obubi, tia. Kubanga takwa atida chitala buwelele. Kubanga yamweleza wa katonda, awala nobu sungu kwa ya okola obubi. You see this? So therefore, we are going into election. Your general part, your overall part is to take care of yourself. What you have is a vote. And what you have is your constitutional right to choose someone to vote. Go and vote him. Do not abuse others. Do not try to show I mean, that you have your candidate so much and the others are all foolish. Everyone here will vote for someone even people out there, they all have their candidates. But you have just one thing. It doesn't matter how much you speak or riot, you have just one vote. Go and let it count. Vote. Accept to lead. All to be, uh, to be won. After that, Go back home. 
the one that has been won. Just, just as it is with everyone and every sector, even those who enjoy soccer, there is that feeling of sadness when you've been won. But to the one that has won, Sanyuka. rejoice. But look out for your brother. Be careful. Could be he has been worn. It doesn't feel good. Do not rebuke or uh, do not instigate that person. People kill each other or kill themselves because of soccer. That is why some are placed on one side and the others on the other side. Because there is that bitterness that comes out and they release it unto themselves. How can you rejoice when we are crying? That is what has happened in America. Those that were rejoicing because Biden is president now and those that were in anger because Trump has been won. But the Bible tells you, tell your brothers, tell your friends, the people that listen to you, these words that I'm telling you, and to us we will be peaceful that is what I feel in my heart because God has spoken fear not but tell your friends and, and prepare yourself because whenever God speaks he expects us to prepare ourselves Amen. Amen. and the Bible says that whoever disrespects any leadership, any whoever disrespects that leadership, brings condemnation upon himself. Whatever happens is your own doing or his own doing. Yes, people can say otherwise. Uh, the, the, the media can speak. That this is so, this is like this and that, but you have the, all the rights up, up, uh, well, upon your life. Right. But I have my own right. You may say that I have the right to speak this and that, but I also must be wise. Because the Bible says that he doesn't hold, the leader doesn't hold the sword in vain. By then, they used to use a sword to kill. They could tell you, kill that one, the other one, and the other. These days, no swords are used. They use guns. And the gun will do its work. The Bible tells you, do you want to live? Do, do you want to live but not in fear? Do what is right. Then you will receive appreciation. May God bless you. I've prepared you. Prepare your friends. Whoever listens, whoever listens to you will be blessed. Whoever doesn't listen to you, well, Amen. Amen. So therefore, no, Rachel. We have prayed today. We've believed the word of God. The word of the Lord has said that this is a year of new things. Let's prepare ourselves to see new things in our lives. Let's know how, what we ought to do. What friends have we been having? What have we been doing? How can we do them differently? 
Secondly, concerning voting, we have a scripture. We will go out in joy and be laid forth in peace. God has spoken. He knows how we'll do it. He has power. Lastly, then Twina Isaiah 49 from verse 8 to 9. We have we, Isaiah 49. Paka you, 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 will read, you will read that yourself. In that lies all the prophecy God gave us. So when you set out to pray this year, that is what we you say, God, you told us in Isaiah 42, 8 that this is a year of new things. Old things have taken place, but behold, a new beginning. And then and then when you're praying for the election, say, Lord, you promised us in Isaiah 30, 55 that we will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. So whatever was to happen, whatever was to be a mountain or valleys, we declare peace in the name of Jesus. Pray in that scripture and declare the peace of the Lord. Then you go out and cast your vote and wait upon the Lord. And then lastly, Isaiah 49 and then you will read Isaiah 49 and pray in that scripture, pre plan to do new things, plan on how to associate with different people and know what you ought to do at the right time in Jesus' name. Katugenda kusinkana ngasa tumurumu. So we're going to meet on 31st. December. December. Saying praises be to Christ. Laba nariomu. I was one. Now we are two. We were two. And now we are four. Behold, I was footing. And now I'm driving. I used to rent a room of 50,000 and I used to pay in vain. But here I am, Pastor, to tell you. And Brothers, that that house you see by the hill is mine. I'm here to tell you that I didn't have the money to raise by the beginning of the year. But I cried out to the Lord. I told him it is a year of new things. And I prayed and during prayer and fasting I told the Lord that give me eyes that see and ears that can hear so that I may see and know new things and know how to follow them and I'm here to tell you business just all about rich zimbe chiecha business say ukuri business and yinji our business you know that those businesses you see that building you see that has many businesses all those are mine to gain the cool it over juries over car can yama we will hear testimonies that will make us tremble in the name of Jesus. We will see people that have been raised from dust and seated with princes. We will start up things that will be important in these 10 years. May God bless you. Now, let me pray for one person. There is a person. You get paralyzed in the left hand. You just sometimes feel like your hands are being paralyzed. Or actually, your hand. Let me pray for that person. Just put up that hand. Okay, come. Just yes, come.
that this is the work of the enemy because it kind of gets too much paralyzed that he cannot even stretch it out. Especially from the pinky. Hmm? I command you evil spirit. Come against you in the name of Jesus. I speak to this young man and to this hand that was paralyzed. From today, you won't stop him from doing what he has to do. I declare healing right now. I declare freedom right now. From today onwards, I rebuke that spirit of paralysis. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You may take your stand. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just get hold of your offering. But there is some, still someone here. You are in that same category. Amen. As they are giving out the envelopes, please, if you are there, just run to me now. So if you are there, just come, please. Let me show you how what you feel. Something holds your pinky finger and you feel like the muscles are being pulled. And you feel like these hands cannot hold anything. So if you are there, just come. Is it you? Okay. Yeah, I, I felt it that there's someone else. There's someone else. Just come. Yes. Now I feel that it is okay. I felt like... You know, when I say that, when you get it, the word of knowledge, first of all, I experience what that person is feeling. Stand up. Oh, Take a Amanya Gavadegaremesa, Murinia Yesu Christoman at Rodomlamo, 
Tanda de Kawa and Dewa Man, the Kavi Nuabi, the Mubita Kutambula, Evi Nuambi, the Mulinja Yesu, Christomana Domulamu, Omana Wakaton Domulamu, Njogere, Evi Konojino, Yes, wherever the Yesu, Padifayo Gomoyo Mucham, Rami and Tivayota, Mufeko, Vida Kota Mulinja, and a Yesu Christo, Omana Wakaton Domulamu, wherever the Yesu, wherever the Yesu, wherever the Yesu. O Musayo Gomana Gwendiga, O Musayo Guayica, O Musayo Guayica, Chitango Musayo Guayica, I could tell you, wherever the Jesus Christ, wherever the Lord was. Carry a cobra, yes, so Christ among us. Come on, Lord. Simba or Sangura Mazigago, Gasangre to fight, Sangura Mazigago, Mokama Murundi Joy. Okuva was an old way Simba for Chavachia. We look around on Ponta Soxena Boca. Kubira Yesu Christo Mungale Sama. Love for Jesus. Never say yes to Christo. Whoever the yes to me, Mikono Jino Jino Niji Terede. Muli Njere Yesu. Kali, Mukama Vampiro Mkisa. God bless you. Amen and amen and amen. Kali, Mukama Vampiro Mkisa. Naise, Naise Aba Antu Mwana Wa. Vino Ta Zijia. Yes, what one man you must say, you want to There is power in the blood of Boy, Jesus. Go in each Kuruma, go in If you have pain in Le your body, let us allow the blood of the Lord to wash us. That blood that washed us. Let it take away every disease. Let it take away every pain. Now lift up those hands. May the God of Israel. The God that backs our mountains. Katonda muri nyaria yeso. In the name of Jesus. Let His name bring forth fire. Let His name bring forth fire. Let it bring healing fire unto these people that have people with backaches, people with stomach aches, people that have been paralyzed, those that were paralyzed, may God heal. I send the word of that God that heals, let it move in your body, let it move in your body, in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Give God a mighty hand clap. She went. Amen. Okay, get hold of your offering. And if you're here,